Now, we do have the breaking news. The director of the National Economic Council, Larry Summers, is set to leave the White House by the end of the year. His replacement has yet to be named, but we are learning more about a top contender. Let's go to Washington, D.C., where Hans Nichols is standing by. Hans, give us the insight. Well, what we know is that Roger Altman, a former undersecretary, uh, deputy treasury secretary under Clinton, is a leading contender uh, for this job that Larry Summers will be vacating. We also know he was seen outside of the Oval Office day, having him waiting for a meeting with President Obama. We also know that the White House is at pains to repair the relationship with the business community. Now, they've also, the White House has said that the, 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 the president is considering a number of qualified candidates and that uh, he has only begun the process. No decisions have been made. That's from a White House uh, spokeswoman, Jen Psaki. What we do know, though, is that this is an administration that just got back from Asia. They spent 10 days, the president in particular, talking about how he wants to improve the relationship with business. He said that right uh, off the bat after the election, uh, when uh, uh, when he had that press conference in Washington, on how some of the optics and rhetoric can be approved, improved. And then this is really a great opportunity, Pim, for them to do that, is to pick someone with Wall Street experience that uh, Roger Altman has. All right, Hans Nichols coming to us from Washington, D.C., giving us that breaking news. So what does Wall Street make of Roger Altman? We're joined now via telephone. We have the uh, chief executive and founder of Minionville Media, Todd Harris. And Todd spent nearly two decades on Wall Street working for Morgan Stanley, the Galleon Group, as well as Kramer Berkowitz. So Todd Harrison, if indeed Roger Altman is tapped to replace Larry Summers, do businesses go out and cheer? Well, I, I like it, Tim. I think that this is a step in the right direction if indeed this is the direction that they're going to uh, pursue. Uh, Mr. Altman, you know, he, he has a proven track record as a critical decision maker, and, and he's been pretty outspoken uh, on the risks uh, for the, of eroding confidence in the Federal Reserve for some time now, uh, as well as the caveats of higher inflation and dollar devaluation and uh, the potential for rising long term interest rates. So he seems to have the mops in terms of Wall Street, uh, and he's been on record saying, that the entire regulatory system must be rebuilt. Uh, so he favors centralized authority, increased transparency. I, I like it. I think it's a good move if, if this is the direction that they're going to go. Todd Harrison, compare Roger Altman to Larry Summers. Larry Summers, an academic, an economist. Roger Altman, he's a businessman. He gets deals done. Right, and I think that's a, that's a critical point. You know, this is a, you know, the, the, the financial fabric, the global financial fabric, as it, as it currently stands, is very, very intricately, intricately woven uh, and it's very delicate, and this speaks to the need uh, for insiders to help us unwind this tangled web. And it's not something you're going to learn about uh, in a classroom, per se. It's something that you really need to be in the pits uh, and have experience with in order to, in order to address it. So I, I think this is a strong move, and, I, and your previous uh, commentator said it, it speaks to the, uh, to the potential for repairing the relationship with Wall Street uh, and Main Street. And I think that if this is the direction that the administration moves in, I think it, it's an overall good move on the the margin, potentially negative for financial services firms in the near term, but overall a very positive, long-term, uh, tangible solution uh, for, for, this, uh, for, the, for the administration. I want to thank you very much, Todd Harrison. He's the chief executive and founder of Minionville Media. You can read more about the potential for Roger Altman to take over from Larry Summers at Minionville.com.